Susanna is also telling us the Grand Mosque of uh, Pantin had shared a video on its Facebook page before the attack that vented hatred against history teacher Samuel Patti. And again, yeah. we could call this out as some responsible, but again, this I think this if uh, this should be allowed, this definitely should be allowed. Uh, saying hatred against the history teacher on Facebook page should be allowed, and anybody that wants to ban this. Anybody that wants to ban somebody posting hatred against a history teacher, I'm going to fight against that. I, I'm going to fight against any ideology that tells you that you can't say that you hate a history teacher. It's a because, very vague term. Vented hatred is a very vague term against a private citizen. If you have somebody who's a public and this, the law makes a distinction between public people and private people. Anything yeah. short of doxing individual private addresses and violent threats should be allowed. Uh, what is or, doxing? Or defamation. Defamation. Well, he actually, Samuel Patti, did file a defamation suit. He did right. file a defamation suit against and, these people because that's what they were doing. They were saying that he distributed pornography to kids in class. Okay, mm -hmm. They posted his place of work. They told mm -hmm. people where he could be found. They ask people to mobilize against him. That is beyond, right? So, yeah. I, you know, vented hatred is a vague term. That, you say, I don't like this guy because, you know, this is what he says and he should, likes the cartoons. I mean, that's one thing. If you're saying that this is where the guy works, everybody should mobilize against him. He's been sending pornography out to your kids. Okay, that is targeted harassment against a private citizen. That is not covered by freedom of speech protections. You, you want to read this one? Yeah. Susanna is saying, the six-month order was for the sole purpose of preventing acts of terrorism. The notice issued by the head of the Saint Saint Denis, sorry, I can't I don't have French pronunciation department read, and it's from Reuters. It was for the sole purpose of preventing acts of terrorism. So, yeah, but again, again, I agree with Susanna here. Oh, you want to say something? You think yeah, that's no, what, no. You, you agree with that. I disagree with that. Susanna disagrees with that as well. Susanna is saying a blanket ban for six months is too much closure solely for the duration of the investigation makes more sense yeah that would make sense like we're investigating this we're temporarily shutting this down for the investigation to be able to go through flawlessly that makes sense closing down the entire mosque for six months that seems like an over government overreach uh yeah i guess i could see i mean i don't know the content we don't know enough about what these guys did yeah. we're just concerned we're con I'm, I'm concerned i'm not yeah, saying but, that this is yeah yeah, the only point that I'm making is that when you're talking about, um, again, when you're talking about a targeted harassment of a private citizen, that's not protected by any kind of free speech law. Um, so regarding the mosque, okay, sorry. There was another question that you had before that that oh, I yeah. didn't get to read. Uh, uh, regarding the mosque ban, I can only find the verbiage crackdown on hate speech and inciting mm -hmm. hatred, and it's much too vague. And that, yeah, that's yeah. what I was saying. That's a, that much so we can't, so Ali, just like I'm saying, like, I feel like you're, I'm acting a little bit more skeptical than you are, okay? Like, just because, mm -hmm. um, like I'm saying, like, I don't know if it was right, okay? I'm worried, I'm concerned, okay? But the language is vague here, and you're saying you, you're ju you think that, the, 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 you know, you're taking the government side on this without necessarily knowing the details, right? So no, I'm, 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 being, being I'm being more skeptical. I'm being objective based on the details that we do know. So right. the details that we do know, right, is that the man was named. The man is a private citizen. His place of work was named. Um, people were encouraged to go and mobilize against him. And he was defamed by saying that he distributed pornography to your middle school children. All of those things together, okay, all of them, I, 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 that's targeted harassment against a private citizen, period. I mean, it's, it's, that's you know, pretty clear. That's, I don't know. That's, There's so many things. That, you know, if that is justification, uh, hold on. If that's yeah. just, if that considered to be private, um, private harassment against a citizen, then I have, you know, how many defamation lawsuits I, I need to go file right now against having so many people. No, do, you know how many, do you know how many Twitter comments will become illegal based on this criteria of what is considered so, targeted harassment? I, I, I'm glad you brought that up. So you go out with the allies gay sign. Okay, come back. The video goes out all over the place. Okay, so they are told, you are told that you sexually harass people at the Pride, uh, Pride Parade, number one. Uh, you're told that uh, your place of work, okay, this is where he works. Here's the address. Uh, please mobilize against this guy. Go and find find this guy. 
Okay, and uh, this is what he's doing to your kids. Right? You have for that, in addition to the fact that you know we're a mosque, we're an Islamic, whatever, blah, blah, blah. All of that would be targeted harassment, and you would be able to go to the police, file a report, okay, and mm -hmm. ask them for security because your life, your security, personal security would be under threat. And it's as simple as that. There's no, that people, anybody who's doing that against you, mm. okay, combination defaming and doxing and everything and, and harassment, it's not, it's not legal. It's not legal. There's nothing to do with free speech. It just yeah, when it comes to, when it comes to the, tra oh, the trade off between security and freedom, I'm always biased towards freedom. And I think I have enough good reasons for it. Yeah, like, but, you but, you, it. Uh, but you agree that that is different from free speech. Yeah, but again, the, it's the line... Do you understand I, the idea of targeted yeah, harassment? Yeah, I understand that. I just think like the line, I, I mean, the line of what should be considered illegal is way after that. Way after that, I think. Mm -hmm. Okay, so... I, I think I, that's about enough. I think when somebody's personal security and personal uh, life is under threat and livelihood is under threat, then it's a problem. Then nobody, no. then my life is un constantly under threat, Ali, okay? Um, even if it's minor threat, okay? It's not a major, go, hold on. Ma mm -hmm. Not major threat, my, my life is constantly under a minor level of threats. Nobody can target me based on your standards. They can't because they don't know where you live. They don't know where you work. They don't know where to find you personally. And approach you personally if that was made public so, online so then if any form of activism any form of activism that tells like you know so all form of protest when it comes to uh, identifying where somebody where a law is being passed where some meetings are you know like all these secular activists um climate change activists animal rights activists a lot of part of their activism requires identifying the offices where these play, where these decisions are being made, made so that they could share the address so they could go and do the protests over there. Um, and we, you know, so all of that will become illegal based on your standards. No, they wouldn't. Of course not, they wouldn't. That's completely different. If you say that, okay, at this office where this event happens, there is this one person, his name is Armin Navabi, he's going to be there at this time, and this is where... Is this what they did? Her. Exactly what they did. Okay. That's exactly right. what we did. The information that we did know... They shared the hour, like they said, like, oh, they didn't say, they didn't just share no, the school they didn't of... share the hour, Armin, Armin, hmm. Armin. They said... His name is Samuel Petty. He mm -hmm. distributed pornography to your kids. This is the school where he works at. Here's the address. And please go and mobilize against him. That's what they said. This stuff is known. There's nothing vague about that part of it. Now, mobilize, venting okay. hatred. Mm -hmm. Now, if you want to say, you know, venting hatred, that part of it I don't know about. But these are the things that are known. And that mm -hmm. constitutes under any country, under France, under the U.S., under Canada, targeted harassment of a private citizen and threatening their security and defamation of course because he didn't distribute pornography to anybody so uh, I, I don't think that that's controversial at all right again i this could all be again as i mentioned before this could all be justified but i think it's also justified to be concerned yeah about the, thing that's, uh, the, the thing you guys are talking about about the six month blanket ban and i i agree that that is probably I, I, closing it for the duration of the investigation makes a lot more sense. So I, I agree with that aspect. I mean, that's not mm. something that I'm going to really go nuts and you know push back against. But just in terms of this being a free speech issue, like I just completely disagree. Completely, this is clear targeted harassment. Okay, uh, next comment: AD's investigations. Oh, AD investigations into radical preachers and suspected extremists accused of spreading online hate and authorities assessing about associations in the Muslim community. Some will be dissolved. Okay, so I think investigations are fine. Like, investigations is not like, investigation is not taking action against somebody or limiting them. Uh, the French government has, I think, investigating things to see if something is a problem or not um, is always a good idea, right? Yeah. Well, not all this, sure. but yeah. It, it, uh, no, so especially it depends on how you carry out the investigation because sometimes in some authoritarian governments, investigation means targeted harassment, right? So I don't, yeah. So as long as investigation doesn't mean targeted harassment and actual just figuring what how things led to, um, you know, how things happened, that, yeah, that's that, that is not violating anyone's rights.